Last left off, we were just about to go back into Viridian Forest after getting our butt kicked last time. But this time I think we're a little bit stronger, now that I've healed up my Pokémon. So I'm gonna test out my newfound strength on this poor unfortunate Caterpie, only a level 4. And I still can't take it out in one hit, because Pikachu just doesn't have that sort of capacity. Unless it gets a critical hit, which it does fairly frequently. Well, now that it's at level 9, maybe I'll be able to handle it more effectively. Oh yeah. Too bad Porkchop's only at level 3, so we gotta get this Porkchop going. We gotta get this monkey more angry. We must fill it with rage! This thing's gotta hurt things if it's gonna wanna beat Brock. Because Pikachu can't beat Brock. No way! Not unless we can activate that sprinkler system. No chance, no chance. Alright, String Shot. Ew. It's not really gonna matter, though, because I'll still take out this weak, unfortunate level 3 Caterpie, and I don't even knock it out in one hit, even after reaching level 9. What is this nonsense? Pikachu! I wish you were stronger. Ah, darn you, Pikachu. Darn you! Level 3. I don't really want to have Porkchop do this just yet. Poor Porkchop's still a baby. My poor Mankey. Can't quite handle it. But at least Pikachu can take a few hits right now. Which is a good thing. Because it's going to get a few. Ugh, I don't like having to go back to the Pokemon Center each time I fight something. But this game is... It's hard. It's serious business really have a lot of time to train before going into Viridian Forest. Well, I mean, you sort of do if you want, but it's not quite like the newer games, you know, where it's like, you can just fight some easy trainers and then just, yeah, get plenty of experience. That's good, I like a challenge. So does Pikachu. So it's gonna take on a level 5 Caterpie now. Whoa! Own that thing. Yay! Porkchop's level 4 now! So it's still got a ways to go. I ran out of Pokeballs to catch Pokemon with. You should carry extras! Yeah, maybe I should. Maybe I should. Seems to me that there's some hidden items hidden around here. Ooh, a level 6 Caterpie. Hmm. Anyway, I'm too lazy to find them right now. This is not meant to be a... I'm gonna show you where to get every item in the game thing. This is a, I'm playing yellow because I feel like it thing, and you're gonna watch it, gosh darn it. Because what could be more entertaining than watching Maryland play yellow? I don't know. That's a tough question. I could think of a few million things, but oh well. You're obviously watching it right now. Huh, so I gotta take on this guy. This guy right here. I think if I was in that grass, I wouldn't have to fight them, but I like fighting trainers, gosh darn it. They're fun, and they're good for experience, and I want to do it. So, whoa, level 7 Caterpie, uh-oh. Porkchop's not going to be able to take this thing out, no chance. I'm even, to be perfectly honest, a little nervous for Pikachu here. I mean, Pikachu has trouble enough with level 6, level 5 Caterpies. But a level 7 Caterpie? No way, that thing should be a Metapod by now. Man, it's really ripping Pikachu apart. That's not fun. I don't like to get beaten by Caterpies. That's just really humiliating. Yay, Porkchop level 5. It's really getting there. Hmm. I'm probably acting against my better judgment here by switching into Porkchop, because that means I'm going to have to switch into Pikachu. But I'm hoping Pikachu will be able to take the hit. I think it should be able to two-hit KO this Caterpie. And thankfully, I got lucky and it used String Shot which means I'm not going to be damaged this time. So I'm going to zap it with Thundershock. Hmm, I might not get that two-hit KO, but it's not going to KO me unless it gets a critical hit, which, knowing my luck, it probably will. Yeah, it wasn't a two-hit KO. Oof, really close. I don't like fights against Caterpies to be this, this close. Come on, not 
Good, not fun. <sighs> okay. No, Caterpie can't cut it! Caterpie is cut! Oh, wait, you can only tackle and string shot. So I'm gonna go back and heal in Viridian City. But rather than going back to Viridian Forest, I think I'm ready to go take on Gary now. Because I trained out my Pikachu, and I'm gonna save my game just in case, because he is one hard dude. Well, not really, but if you're like level 7, if you just get to Viridian City and you go here, and you're like, Oh, what's past this place? I want to see what's past here! Then, uh-oh, here comes this guy, and he will, he will torture you. He will just destroy you if you do that. You don't have any badges. By the way, did your Pokemon get any stronger? Not really. I'm a little disappointed with it, to be perfectly honest. So yeah, you have to fight Gary here. This is an optional fight. You don't have to do it. And he's really tough if you just went here. That's why I trained up first. Because right when I got my Mankey, I was like, what, level 5, 6? Something like that? 7 maybe? I don't remember. I have a short-term memory. And how oh, it would have been very painful. Very painful. Thankfully, though, now I'm at a higher level, so I can handle this level 9 Spiro a little bit better. Okay, there we go. Pikachu works great against it. And it gave me just enough experience to level up Pork Chop. Awesome. So now he's going to send out the star of his team, Eevee. And I'm debating as to whether or not I want to risk switching. Because, well, actually, I thought that Eevee might have been at a higher level. I was fairly disappointed to find out that his Spearow was at a higher level than his Eevee. But that's what I was wondering just there. Because I'm doing a lot of this from memory. And it's been like 10 years since I've played this game. Nine years or something. It's like, man. So I'm going to growl there, and that really didn't do that much good, although I'd like to know how much it would have done if I didn't. Ooh, well I'm very lucky there that Eevee was fully paralyzed, and that I got a critical hit, and that it's paralyzed again, so I got some serious luck hacks in this fight. That's great. Okay, sand attack, I'm not too worried about that, unless I get really unlucky with accuracy. Awesome, another critical hit! Look at that. Take that Eevee out like a champ. Pikachu reaches level 10! Yay! Aw, oh, you just lucked out. Yeah, I did, you're right. I'm glad you saw that. Pokemon League has many tough trainers. Quit dawdling and move on. How about you quit dawdling and move on? What were you doing over here anyway? You know you can't go there yet without all the badges. Come on, don't be a noob. Alright, so let's go back to Viridian Forest, past that guy I just fought. I healed my Pokemon, by the way. I did that too. Always good to heal your Pokemon. You can't jam out if you're a Pokemon trainer. What? I want to jam out if I'm a Pokemon trainer. What are you telling me? Alright, he's got a Metapod. This is actually pretty nice because I'm going to use Pork Chop here and I'm just going to scratch the heck out of this thing. All it's going to do is use Harden all day. And, you know, I've got 35 PP power points. <laughs> uh, I can handle this thing no problem gotta keep scratching away at it. If you've got any Pokemon, if you're playing yellow for some random reason, you know, not anything to do with the fact that I'm playing it, but if uh, you're playing yellow, these Metapods make great little uh, punching bags. You can train against them, get a nice amount of experience, and they don't usually fight back. There's this one trainer later on whose Metapod will tackle you, but, I mean, you know, come on, what's it gonna do? Honestly, hmm, Caterpie. So I'm debating... If I should switch to Pikachu or not. I decided not to there, but I think Porkchop isn't quite going to be able to handle it. I just don't quite think so. So I'm going to switch back to Pikachu and baby Porkchop a little bit more. Alright, it's going to string shot. So I probably could have taken it out with Mankey. I don't know. I need to get to the point where I can start using it more, but I just don't quite think he's there yet. I think I'm going to wait until... Yeah, maybe level 7. 18 attack power is a little more viable. Ooh, another Metapod. Joy, oh joy, that's great. Um, so, extra experience. Go Pork Chop. You're gonna really rock this thing up. Which is good. We gotta get you going for Brock. You still gotta get your uh, low kick move. That's coming up pretty soon. I think level 8 or 9. Um, trying to remember off the top of my head here. Uh, oh yeah, critical hit. Take that in your face, Metapod. I own you there. Scratch that thing. Almost, almost. It'd be a pain to fight, but you can usually do it. There we go. 
took that thing out. Huh, I ran out of Pokemon? Yeah, you did, bud. And you even had more than I do. I just got me, ooh, a potion, awesome. Just what I needed, free potions. I need more free stuff in this game. Gosh darn it. All right, so I'm gonna take the sissy route around there. You move through like just a little bit less grass, just in case you're a coward like I am. Actually, I didn't remember there's an item up there or not. I'm like, let me see if there's something up there. But you can save a little bit of time fighting wild Pokemon if you're a wimp. And I guess I was a wimp, so I don't know what I'm talking about. Okay, Porkchop, you just took out a Pidgey on your own! You're so good at this game! But we're gonna have to wait until next Tuesday to see just how good you are as we continue our way through Viridian Forest.